out today is Donda 2. So I watched the uh, listening party. It was live. It, I, I didn't know it was on Twitch. I just watched from stemplayer.com. But we all know how that went. It was, quite frankly, a disaster. All right. It, it was good until it wasn't. And then it was really bad. It was really bad. Um, Dion, we're, we're watching you, bro. We're watching you, man. This right here, it, it, was, it was very unfortunate to see that happen, bro. You can see how mad Ye got, bro. But, uh, what is this? What, what channel is this again? The Generosity made a video called I Hate Being a Kanye Fan is Awesome, which the statement a lot of Ye fans use all the time, especially after his self-titled 2018 album, Ye. But, uh, let's see what he has to say, man. This channel's hilarious. I've never reacted to any of his videos, but I've watched them. This dude's mad funny. I hate being a Kanye fan. But I love it though. All exactly. right, I haven't made a Kanye yeah. video in a good minute, and the reason why well, I hadn't made one earlier, when all that skeet stuff was well still going on, yeah. and Kanye delivering flowers to Kim K and all, is because there was always something new he did. Like new uh, news of Kanye would come out every day this whole February. First mm -hmm. it was Donda Two, then Skeet, then Julia, then Kid Cudi, then he turned into a meme page, then McDonald's, uh, then Down Bad, then. TikTok? Honestly, this is probably <laughs> the most memorable Black History Month I've ever had. Facts. Next to the year Black Panther was released. There was Facts. just a lot of Kanye stuff to talk about, and it was ever so changing. So I just decided to wait until the listening party. But honestly, overall, my initial opinion on the drama basically aligned with what Sean C said. And if you don't mm. feel like watching his video on it, he basically says all this drama is happening because Kanye wanted publicity for Donda 2, and Kanye is mostly in the wrong for his actions against other people mostly Kid Cudi, cutting him mm. off the album for being friends with Pete, even though Kanye is friends with Drake, a man who's not really on the best of terms with Cudi or Pusha T, but- Yeah, that, uh, he's on good terms with Cudi now. Cudi was on his album. He's on, they, they squashed that a minute ago. They squashed that a minute ago. But I do, I do feel like Ye was in the wrong at first for not putting Cudi on the album, right? But then Cudi's response kind of just made it like mutual bad. Now it's just like bad, but I mean, you know, what are you gonna do? But the whole Drake thing, like he Drake is cool with Cuddy now. I feel like they squashed their beef. Him and Pusha T, I feel like Pusha T just he's just milking that for as long as he can. But you know, when Ye befriends someone they don't like, it's cool. But when they do it, it's bad. That's called double mm. standards. And it's stupid. I know it's crazy for a Kanye stand like myself to talk, have their bro. own opinion outside of meat writing Kanye 24-7. I know that's crazy. <laughs> Pretty good video. You should watch it. And also, yeah, I'm not talking will. about the TikTok and Julia Kim relationship stuff because I don't care enough to talk about it. Instead, yeah. I'll talk about easily the most frustrating thing Ye has done during this whole debacle. The STEM player. Oh my God, that's Ooh. some old bullshit. $200? $200 to listen to an album? No yeah. one's paying for that. M maybe produced by Zach Will. Maybe he will buy it. <laughs> and who is this nigga? What has he produced? Uh -huh. <laughs> Not for real, bro. Not for real. He is the king at meat writing, bro. $200 Literally. to listen to an album? No one's he is paying OD for in that. Comments. Maybe produced by Zach Will. Maybe OD he will buy comments. it. And who is this nigga? What has he produced? Uh, I'm tired of seeing him. And I know the reason why Kanye terrible. isn't releasing it on streaming services is because music labels be taking mad percent of the profit of the artist's right. music. I know that. But at the same time, you're a billionaire. You're the richest black man in America. Do you need the money? Does streaming actually hurt your wallet that much? This remind me of that episode of South Park. Not that episode. That episode <laughs> when the boys illegally stream music and the police officer shows them the celebrities that suffer through their music getting pirated. Like a rough example, Taylor Swift tried buying a Yacht 2022 edition, mm. but could only afford the Yacht 2019 edition mm. due to people pirating her music. How mm. sad. And the same thing's happening for Kanye, Damn. but for streaming. Like, okay, nigga, you don't need the money. It would be more understandable Damn. if he did something like this earlier in his career, maybe when he was in debt, but now he's a billionaire. 
Nah, man. You're being yeah. greedy. All right. I don't want to waste no time. Let's move on to the main show. All right. The Donda 2 listening party. Yeah. This being Kanye's first sequel album and also all this recent drama happening, this event was super hyped up. And when it finally started, it had the best introduction it's out fire. of any Donda event, song and visually. Vi mm -hmm. Visually, I can't speak. That shit was amazing. Hearing that X, X song was, was yep. easily the best song that was performed that night. And Cat. also, the song with Favi and Future on a drill beat was the best song, in my opinion. Then Security, then True Love with X, then Pablo. Um, I don't know what else, but yeah. But True Love's hard though. I really hearing X twice on the album alone was just insane, bro. Insane. Visually, vis visually. The way it looks, this is the best looking Donda event so far. <laughs> Some of the shots look like they could be from movies. Facts. The visuals for the entire show looked amazing. One thing, bro, that we cannot argue is the, the cinematography team, the whoever was behind the cameras, the cameramen and women, all them people, bro, they was on it. They were on it. Bro, they didn't miss. They did not miss. They were on it. Visually, the whole event looked so good the whole time. From start to finish, bro. From start to finish. It looked fire, bro. Can't say the same for the audio team, bro. Now, what about the songs? Not gonna lie. A lot of the songs were just okay. I'm not gonna talk about every single one of them. So here's my notes for each song while I was listening. If you can read my handwriting. Yeah, Basically, every song featuring Future were pretty meh. The Pablo song has a catchy hook, but Future's verse is nothing special at all. I really like the Meagle song. It was hyped and it had my blood pumping. Not gonna lie, mm. that Virgil song, R.I.P. Virgil, Bad. was pretty bad. Very bad, bro. Jack Harlow came out, man. That was hard. That that was that's that was up there for sure. I think the thing with the listening party. And a lot of Ye's listening parties in general is the songs aren't finished. So they just don't sound like they're not at their full potential. That's the thing. They don't sound as good as they can, but you just have to have the vision. You just have to have, you gotta know, bro. Repetitive and not in a good way. I like Jack Harlow's verse, but that's kind of it. The song Easy was also there, and honestly, I like Easy. I like that Easy song. I know some peeps say it's one of Kanye's worst singles, but like, at least it's, it's not yay versus the people and i also yay versus the people is so uh, like i listened to it again the other day just because i haven't heard it in, in a long time i don't know if it's ti or if it's just yay's verse was like not that good or what but you know a lot of people weren't feeling easy i don't know why but at the same time a lot of people that you know, say these things either one, don't give things a real chance and they just kind of go with what Anthony Fantano says, right? Or they just don't sit with things long enough to be able to, you know, really see the vision for things. Like they kind of listen to it once, you know what I mean? Maybe not all the way through, maybe not in the right setting, and then it's just they label it mid, you know, but that's the problem with a lot of you know people that listen to music and stuff on social media nowadays especially on twitter hip-hop twitter is kind of dead now a lot of people that were really active in it kind of aren't anymore you know and it's just kind of like the same boring tweets every day you know but i feel like a lot of people just don't give it a chance for real also just like the beat and hook but overall the new songs of donda 2 are mostly him being down bad for kim kardashian am i the only person that heard that i don't think i am yeah, and i also no. think most of the songs aren't even finished yet so maybe yeah, my opinion will change finished. when the album actually comes out and i give it a few more listens that it's out and it's still not finished. That's basically my opinion on the songs, they are right, but the event itself was amazing. Like I said, the visuals were amazing. There were a bunch of artists coming out and performing with Kanye. This was easily the best Donda listening party by far. Facts. Until it became the worst when he started performing songs from Donda.
Oh my goodness, the audio was so bad for those songs. It wasn't synced up or on beat or anything. It was bad before This then. is what happens when you let Mike Dean not do sound. You can't trust nobody else with Kanye sound. <laughs> those sound engineers legit ruined the event. And I was especially pissed off when it happened for Off The Grid. Bro, we got robbed out of the best Off The Grid performance with everyone there. Because I've heard cardi do his you know rock star remix version with just his verse i uh, i don't think five he's on tour at all so i haven't heard him perform it i've heard Ye do it i think twice but we never had it with all three of them there right and we got robbed by the audio team robbed and you could tell like cardi was trying to keep it up and like you know keep the energy up it wasn't really working five he was racing the beat sounding like a coach yelling plays like a lot of people said on twitter uh and Ye just got mad, so he threw his mic way before this song came on. So by the time we got to his part, it was just the beat. You hate to see it, man. You hate to see it. Like, oh my god, Cardi came out looking like Jeff Hardy, yeah. and he was so hyped. But the sound ruined it, bro. I was mm -hmm. so mad. Fabio rapping off beat, most likely because his earpiece audio was playing ahead or behind the stadium's audio. Exactly. It was... Who did this? Was this the first ever event you done? Were your <laughs> previous events children's birthday parties? You sound people ruined it. You ruined everything. I hope your mama gets slapped in the face next time she goes to Walmart. I Whoa. hate you. Yo. Anyway, six out of 10. <laughs> also watch the Kanye Netflix documentary. It's the best documentary I've ever watched. Well, yep. the only documentary I've ever watched. How is this? The bro, bro, you got to watch. The Rick Rubin documentary on YouTube. You got to watch the Cuddy documentary. You got to watch the Astroworld documentary. The real one, not that weird thing on Hulu about the Astrofest incident in 2021. I'm talking about the Astroworld documentary from 2018. You got to watch... Like, there's so many good music documentaries, bro. And then just a bunch of other random good ones in general. Super size me. All Kanye fans should watch it. It's hard, I'm trying though. to get this vid out as quickly as possible, so I'm just going to end it. Uh, in conclusion, lick my nuts. And I say fire. Is it, was that uh, Spectre or Squale? Either way, man, W video. That was hilarious. You know, not not the best takes, but that happens, bro. That's one thing. A lot of Ye fans don't always agree amongst each other, but we'll always disagree with Taylor Swift fans. Always. Except for the Taylor Swift fans that are Ye fans and Swifties at the same time. Those people are cool. Everyone else is trash.